Hello, welcome. We are going to finish this introductory packet to the rule of 72 uh, with part four here. And we're told that Silas has $100 and wants to invest it until it becomes $200. How long will this take if he has access to an account that offers 36% interest compounded yearly? So to use the rule of 72, the rule of 72 takes, says take 72 and divide it by your interest rate, 36, no percent sign, and that equals the answer, two. It'll take two years to double your money according to the estimation of the rule of two, two, but that's an estimation. Now we try to figure it out using a little bit of brute force, just starting off with $100, multiplying it by 1 plus 0.36 for one year to see what we get. Let's do that. So 100 times 1.36, that's what 1 plus 0.36 equals. Okay, we get $136. That makes sense, we're adding 36% to 100. Then, arrow here, we do it again. So you take the original amount of money you had, I'll just write it as 1.36, and multiply it by another 1.36. That's for two years, it's happening twice. So on the calculator, we can just take that previous value and then again multiply that by 1.36 and we get 184.96. You can see, actually, it's interesting here, um, 184, let me see, 0.96. So you can see that we're not yet doubled yet, so we can tell it takes a third year to do this. So I'm gonna write this down here, kind of right out of room. 100 times 1.36, not one time for the first year, two times for two years, but three times. And that will go over doubling. Again, we saw this earlier. Times another 1.36. It'll bring you beyond doubling. 251.55. 251.55. So in this case, you can say something a little bit better than the rule of 72. You can say it's between, between 2 and 3 years. That's what you can say. So that's different, right? Our answer is changing. And then to get a more precise measure using logarithms, we can say that you start with $100, you multiply it by 1.36, that's the 1 plus the 36%, some amount of years, and you want to get 200. So we start to solve for t. Divide both sides by 100. 1 1.36 to the t equals 2. Take the log of both sides, the log of 1.36 to the t equals the log of two, and I'll write, keep going. That's the same thing as t times the log of 1.36, which equals the log of two, and then finally, you can jump to this step, if actually from the beginning if you want, it's the log of two divided by the log of 1.36. And that will be our most precise answer on this list, let's get that, the log of two, divided by the log of 1.36 to 2.25 years. So two and a quarter of a year, which would be about two years and three months. So 2.25 years. And you can see that these numbers are changing. This is the most precise result, which is remarkably close to, still to the rule of 72. And this is just an intro. We'll talk more about why 72. Why not 70, right? Where does the 72 come into play? Because I don't see a 72 here with the logarithms, but we'll talk more about that. Thanks.